Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously and help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Studio Series 86, Scourge. And this decal set includes one decal sheet on foil backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Scourge both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Scourge looks great. He looks like he stepped right out of the 1986 movie. He's got fantastic sculpted details and pretty fair use of paint applications. Taking a closer look at the face sculpt, we've got red eyes, the painted in goatee, little red dot right there on his head cannon. There's a gray stripe around. Down here on the abs is painted gray. The same with the arms. He also has those pink fingertips that he's known for. And that's pretty much it for the paint applications. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what Toy Hacks can do to this guy. So here is one final look at Scourge in robot mode before. And after. Scourge's bot mode gets a lot of great G1 toy throwbacks with this new decal set. Now the first decals you're probably noticing are the new wing decals there on either side. You've got red, blue, and the light gray coloring. There's also new decals up here on the upper tips. Right here on the chest, he gets a new silver decal, which is a great homage to the original toy because it also had a silver decal. Now there is options. You can pick this blue decal with a Decepticon logo, but I decided to go with the silver because not only does it represent the G1 toy, it helps break up all the blue. There's also new red decals there on either side of the chest and a new Decepticon logo there. Moving on down to the waist, he gets a new yellow and blue belt buckle and blue and red decals there on either side. Around the wrist, there is a wraparound blue decal. Moving on down to the legs, you got silver decals along the shins, which are also a throwback to the G1 toy, and little blue highlights there on the feet. Now let's compare Studio Series 86 Scourge with his Generation 1 counterpart. So you can see the throwbacks that Toy Hacks gave this set. You've got the silver chest right there that matches up with G1, the yellow there on the belt buckle, and the silver shins. And there you have Scourge in bot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the package, there's really not much to Scourge at all. There's a lot of great molded details, but really only a couple of paint applications. You've got the Decepticon logo right here and a little red dot right there. Other than that, he's just blue and light gray. So that's pretty much it. So there you have one final look at Scourge in vehicle mode before. And after. Scourge gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his vehicle mode, thanks to Toy Hacks. The first one you're probably noticing is the new blue decals right here along the front. There's also red decals on either side here, and a brand new larger Decepticon logo that covers up those unsightly holes that was on the figure prior to decals. There's also new decals here and here, and a new decal right there. Now, there are options for here in the center. You can go with this grid, which is more G1, or you also have a couple different options of sweep faces. So if you are army building a Scourge Armada, you have some options there. There's also new decals right there 
in here that kind of add some blue highlights. There are new red decals on the tips of the two side weapons. Before, there was only a red tip there. Now, all three have them, just like the G1 toy. Right here along the side is some silver decals, which is also reminiscent of the Generation 1 toy. Back of the vehicle, you have a new decal here with some red triangles and some more blue highlight decals. Now, let's compare the Studio Series 86 Scourge with his Generation 1 counterpart. And you can see there's a lot of G1 love into this decal set. You've got the little grid decal right there on either side, the large Decepticon logo, the blue stripes, and those little silver decals on the side. So there you have Studio Series 86 Scourge in vehicle mode after. <laughs> Toy Hacks, once again, greatly improves an already fantastic figure. I absolutely love all the Generation 1 throwbacks that they gave Studio Series 86 Scourge. It really adds to the bot and especially the vehicle modes that were, to be honest, a little plain. Plus, I do like all the different options you have when applying the decals to kind of make Scourge look how you want him to look. That being said, if you plan on army building Scourge, you have the option to use these other faces because Toy Hacks has a sale on this decal set. If you buy three, you only pay for two. So make sure and check that out on ToyHacks.com. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah! <laughs>